Hi, I'm Graham. This week, I sadly realized that my office chair of many years had had its day and needed to be replaced. So I went along to my local IKEA store and brought this fancy new office chair, which is perfect for what I want it for, except for one small issue. If you're not sitting in it, the caster wheels lock in place. They won't roll. So you can't actually move the chair around unless you're sitting in it. Now, I've got to say, I really do like a lot of the IKEA designs, but I don't quite get the logic of this. I know how dangerous office chairs can be if they don't have auto-locking caster wheels. I mean, happens all the time. You see it every day where office chairs just roll by themselves out of the study, down the street, bumping into people and kids and cars as they go. They're an absolute menace. Really, IKEA? Well, I had a good look at the caster wheels and I worked out exactly what was going on and how to defeat it. So this short video will show you how to do it. Now one way of achieving this is by using some very precise tools and a bit of skill. Um, precise tools were like this uh, flat bladed screwdriver and this chisel which was very useful and there's one of the casters and all you basically do is keep levering it inside the uh, rim of the wheel until it eventually gives up after about 10 minutes and you can pull it apart. Um, takes quite a bit of work, believe me. There's one of the casters and after levering it off, you can see it actually messes it up quite a bit. But that's necessary to get to the brake, which is that little sucker right there. And that's the bit that we've got to cut off. And it's just a matter of using a knife and cutting into the plastic and there. But I looked at it and I found a way that I think is probably a lot easier, a lot quicker and does a lot less damage. If you look carefully, you'll be able to see just there are the brakes. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to use a sharp knife and try very hard not to cut our fingers off. The blade goes in a lot easier if you use it on this side, not this side where you've got this piece of plastic. Okay, so this side fits in between the axle, levers off the axle and close as you can to the body of the frame and just push back. And this is the bit where you have band-aids spare and a couple of shots and we should get through. See, there it goes. There's one gone. Flip it around the other way. Same again. And there's the other one. That wheel is done and dusted. Well, Ikea, I hope you don't get too annoyed with me for defeating the safety mechanism on the caster wheels. I understand the chair is now far more dangerous than ever before, but I have a solution. So if you found this video useful, then leave me a comment or a thumbs up. Uh, if you'd like to check out some of my other videos on my channel, then just go and check out Commodore Cave icon down there and have a look at the retro computing videos. From me, see ya.